some people say they just don't have enough time to do anything. Hi, I'm Marty Sharp, ordinary speaker, mentor, coach and consultant. And today, we're going to be thinking about what it is that you're currently spending your time on. Because time is kind of one of the most precious things you have. Would you agree? Because, you know, while we can earn more money, we can never earn more time. We're all born with a set amount of time in our lives and we want to make sure that we use it in the best way we possibly can. So what is it that you actually spend your time doing? And where is it that you can actually be doing things better? Now you can analyze your time for a variety of reasons. For what you do at home in your personal life, you can do it for what you do in business, uh, you can do it for your own organization. Now one thing I've found, found helps me, and it may be able to help you, is actually taking a look at how I spend my time. Where is it that I'm actually utilizing my time and how I could utilize it better? Now for me, there's three key questions to ask when I'm looking at this. The first question is, where do I believe I'm spending my time? And that's literally to write down a number of different key tasks that we have that we're dealing with and think about what percentage of time do I actually spend doing each one of those tasks. Whether that's looking from a business perspective, how much time do I spend in HR, in marketing, in sales, in delivering the actual services to my clients, in research and development, in building relationships, all those kind of key aspects of that. Or if it's in my home life, you know, how much time do I spend with my kids? How much time do I spend on downtime? How much time do I spend with my wife? How much time do I spend with my friends and fun and relaxing? And really work out again, what's the percentage of those things? And just note down how much time you believe you're actually spending doing these things. Now, next step, the next key question to ask yourself, which is, uh, again, really important, is thinking about those same aspects, but actually, how much time would you like to be spending time doing those things? So think about, again, from your business perspective, how much time do you really want to be doing HR? How much time do you really want to be building relationships or R&D? For your home life, how much time do you really want to have with your friends or your family or your children? How much time do you really want to have to relax or, or just have fun or maybe learn something new? And then the final step to actually work out where you are right now is to start to track yourself on those key aspects that you made a note of. So keep a note and a diary on a daily basis of how long you are actually really spending on doing those things. How many hours do you actually spend with your family? How many times do you spend with your children? How much time did you spend on doing that research and development? Because straight away you'll be able to see where there is a disparity between what you believe you're doing and what you actually are doing and the reality of what you really want to do may be either closer than you think or further away. But the key thing here is at least you'll know and you'll be able to make a plan on how you can go from one thing to another and be able to make your belief in where you want to spend your time more of a reality. So I'll give you this challenge. Go away and work out where it is that you're actually spending your time, where it is you'd like to be spending your time and how you can make that an achievable process. Enjoy the week ahead. Bye for now. It's okay, don't worry. Sorry. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. So don't have time. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you've really enjoyed the content. I've got some real benefit in how to build your growing, profitable and sustainable business. Please like and comment below and remember to share this content to somebody you believe could really benefit from it. If you haven't done already, subscribe to our channel and remember to turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next great tip in how to build your growing, profitable and sustainable business. Bye for now.